everybody, this is Praxis, and today Amber and I are working up on the gable end of the roof, putting on all the wall boards. Yesterday I was able to get all the flashing on, both above the window and above the greenhouse, and between the two of us, we were able to uh, essentially sheathe half the roof in boards. Today I have no doubt that we're going to be able to finish up the rest of it because, uh, you know, we got half done yesterday, plus we did all the flashing. So I think we're going to be good. Had a little bit of a late start this morning, though, because it was kind of... It was really wet out here this morning, so uh, I kind of prepped a few boards. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure whether it was going to rain, and then I started working on these little boxes. Uh, do I get an example? I don't, I don't have an example. There's these little, uh, like, 19 to 21 inch uh, boards that go in between all of the rafters in the greenhouse. Up at the very top, there's these little boxes that need to kind of uh, tuck right up in there. So I crawled across and took a board with me and noted all the uh, the widths between all the rafters. I got all those uh, created and I've been nailing those up. Uh, the reason I'm doing those now, uh, you know, in reality I don't have to finish the greenhouse at all, but uh, we do want to put the roof on because it's going to protect the inside of the house, it's going to protect windows and doors and things, uh, and once the roof is on it's going to be really hard to do those boards that are tucked up right up underneath, plus the foam, plus the exterior board. So, you know, it's another thing added to the first thing that I need to do list. Um, but after that, I got right back on boards on the, uh, yeah, the gable end, and that's going well. Amber is kind of uh, pre-doing some boards for me. It works really well uh, with the two of us because I can just be measuring and cutting and moving things up in, into the position and getting them screwed in. And then Amber's, uh, you know, uh, sealing any boards that uh, need to be sealed. I find that works better for me because I'm not having to jump back and forth between, you know, doing numbers stuff and then sealing things and then trying to remember what the numbers were. I can work really efficiently and not make as many mistakes. I, that doesn't mean I don't make any. Uh, and Amber uh, can just keep sealing things. So this has worked out pretty well. This is the next board that's going to go up right here. This one uh, is the first board that's after the windows because uh, we have uh, boards get taller and taller and then they hit the windows then there's some short boards over the windows, short boards under the windows and this is the first board that is contiguous after the windows and everything after this should just go really uh, quickly because we don't have to do any uh, particular measuring or anything like that. And Amber, I think you're going to need me to move that board in a moment? Yep. Yeah, Amber's good on moving all the boards except for the 16 foot ones once they're sealed because um, they're kind of heavy. So that's it. Thanks for watching.